Hey guys, it's Friday and Brittany and the Seven Awesome Lesbians, and I'm going to try to do this in one take. Will it happen? I don't know. Um, this week's topic was chosen by me, mainly because I had a feeling that my response would probably be very different from everyone else's. And it is. <laughs> so the question is, um, if you could change your gender slash sexuality, would you? Why or why not? My answer to this question is... No, 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 no. Um, I would not change the fact that I'm gay. I love being gay. I love being different. I love loving my girlfriend. I love having gay friends. I love the gay community. Everyone's so welcoming and accepting of not just being gay, but any other difference that you happen to have. So I just, I like that. And it's probably mainly because I'm a little biased because I can't really see myself falling in love with a boy or being like emotionally or even physically attracted to boys. Like, I can think boys are cute, but it just, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't. I'm crazy in love with my girlfriend. I love my friends. I love the community. And honestly, I like being different. I like being gay. It doesn't bother me. And you know what? Um, I'm never, I'm never going to be able to change it. So I figure I might as well love who I am for who I am and not wish otherwise, I guess. Not that that was what this week was about, but like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just so comfortable with who I am and I love who I am and I love my surroundings and my life and it's all wonderful. <laughs> so no, I wouldn't change my, my sexuality. I like being gay and I just couldn't picture myself any differently. And uh, I know things would be a little bit easier, but like I always say, if it's not one thing, it's another. If you're not having struggles being gay or trans or whatever, if you are a straight female or straight male or whatever, you're going to have a problem somewhere else along the way. Everyone has a battle they have to fight. Some people get pregnant at a young age. Some people have cancer. Some people don't have any parents. <laughs> um, some people... I don't know. Everyone has a battle that they have to fight. And, um... Like, maybe my battle will be trying to have children, or maybe my battle will be something else gay-related. But I'm fortunate enough to uh, live in Canada where I'm allowed to get married, I'm allowed to have children, I'm allowed to adopt children. So yeah, I don't know. I like who I am. I don't think it would change it. As for my um, gender, um, you know, there's some days where I'm just like, oh, man, like, I'm a tomboy. Like, I'm going to dress like this. And this is a boy shirt, and like I'm wearing baggy jeans, and like there's days when I'm like, oh, just drop off my boobs. I fucking hate them because they're huge and annoying. But <laughs> um, but I am comfortable with being a girl, and I'm okay with being a tomboy. That's another thing that I think um, some like people who are new to like coming out have to realize that it's okay if you like want to change the way you look, and it's okay if you're trans. Like, but that's for you to figure out, and whichever way you go whether you're butch or you're trans they're both okay and like you can even fall somewhere in the middle <laughs> like you don't have to throw labels on everything and that's fine um whatever you feel like you are or whatever you feel comfortable in or whatever you know you are it's fine you're beautiful no matter what you look like no matter what you wear no matter who you are no matter who you feel you are you're fucking beautiful, and don't ever forget it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with being a girl. I don't think that I would change that. Um, but I guess if I was a boy, I would be a straight male. Because I like girls. I just got mine... Am I allowed to say fucked? Mine fucked? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I would stay gay. I like being gay. And although being straight would probably be easier, I like to be different. And I like, I really like my life at the moment. And I don't think I would change it, even if I could. I should probably turn the light on. That did absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, the second part of the question is, uh, or the, the question, not the topic. The question is... Uh, what part of you is most envied by others? I asked my friends and I got two responses. The first one was that I'm feisty. Um, apparently I'm feisty. <laughs> um, I'm short and I'm small, but if I need to be here, <laughs> if I need to be heard, I will be heard. And if I am protecting someone I love, people get scared of me. 
<laughs> I am small but mighty. So that's something that people envy about me. I guess like my feisty kind of confidence, I suppose. Um, second was... The second, yes, I can count. <laughs> second was uh, my ability to listen and to find um, workable solutions for people. I don't know, my, my friends or my girlfriend just said that like I'm a good listener and I'm good at solving problems and not not being judgmental of people no matter their situation I just open with listen e listen with open ears holy crap I can't talk today I listen with open ears and I'm respectful and I I help as best I can so those are two things feistiness and good listener I don't know so yeah I'm about to bake my roommate's birthday cake so uh, hopefully it's not disastrous I love you guys. Have a friggin' awesome weekend. Um, I'll see you next Friday. Kofi has love to all of you. Mwah! Love you guys. Stay cool.